Say hello. When he calls, say hello. They answer. David is their feeder. Casey, this is our feed system here, if you can see it. And their leader. Hey, boys. Daddy's come to see you. Farm father to 92,000 butterball turkeys at his farm in Wallace. You love your turkeys. You love to make sure that, that, I mean, you take care of them almost like your children, but you love them. None of these big boys in North Carolina will be featured at your Thanksgiving table. Our turkey farms are strictly tom turkeys. At about 50 pounds, they are far too big for your fry. Y'all sure are lucky turkeys today, ain't you? At least for today. Their destiny is in sandwich meat and turkey bacon. What you have roasting in your oven right now is a hen, the petite bird meant for holiday plates. And those ladies are all raised in the Midwest. Bet you didn't know that. It's really a family affair, like all farming. When a boy turkey and a girl turkey fall in love at one of North Carolina's 85 breeder farms, she lays her eggs. The eggs are then sent to a hatchery, and about 28 days later, little baby turkeys peep out. Once they get big enough, the hens head west while the teenage toms stay in state. But in both cases, the business of raising these birds is a very big and very underappreciated job. I generally get up at 5 a.m. every morning. We do our generator checks in the morning, our chlorine checks, our water gauges in the uh, control rooms. Um, we check our computers. Raising turkeys is now a high-tech industry. Wind chill. Everything from static pressure to air quality inside the houses is closely monitored by computer. Every butterball farm strictly audited by the American Humane to ensure the bird's welfare. There are cameras that closely watch how the birds are handled, and they've probably caught David hugging a few. <laughs> Ain't you pretty? Security and sanitation are surprisingly super strict. Some people think that we're trying to hide something inside these farms, but we're not. We're trying to keep stuff from coming in here so you can get the product that you demand on the counter. Starting at the gate, every vehicle gets hosed down to keep new germs out. Every visitor gets a mandatory full body sterile suit, shoe covers and a hairnet. No, we are not going into the operating room, but these are prized poultry and this is a 365 day a year job. We're pretty much ready to go. Someone has dedicated a lot of time and effort to getting their, that meal on their table. I wish that the general public could, could see that, you know. It'd be nice to get a pat on the back every now and then, but. Because this isn't a paycheck for David, this is much bigger. I got bad sick in September 28, 2011, and for two and a half years, I couldn't hardly even walk. After years in construction, a serious and untreatable illness gave David a gift he didn't ask for, perspective. It made me realize some things that... It just made me realize that I better get more of a hurry than what I thought in life if there was things I wanted to do. Some things, turkeys was one of them. So I set my sights on it. Four years ago, after months of planning and more than a million dollar investment, David and his bride stood in their brand new turkey house and watched their first set of turkeys arrive. Like bringing home several thousand babies, he didn't sleep for a few weeks and not much since. But David wouldn't have it any other way. See the in your it ain't. I mean, if it's in you, then you don't mind the long days. You don't mind uh, whatever happens to be wrong today. You just set your sights, get that fixed, and continue to take care of your animals. Because that's that's what I do. That's that's my job. On this Thanksgiving, David gives thanks for another day he can be out here with his family and the tens of thousands of teenage toms who treat him like a king, and vice versa. We all give thanks for our friends and our families. But before picking up your plate, we give a nod of gratitude for the food that is all in thanks to our farm families. Happy Thanksgiving.